Hello everyone. Below is the introduction of operation method of multi-tooth MS detection technology for rapid identification of foodborne pathogens. The main content is divided into four parts. Part one: pre-processing of bacterial strains before running the machine. Each time, microbial mass spectrometry. Is used for bacterial strain identification. Calibration and quality control must be carried out. A1 target point is the calibration target point, and A2 target point is the quality control target point. First, the bacterial strain pre-processing process is introduced. Most foodborne pathogens that are easy to break down use formic acid direct smear method. For pre-processing, such as Salmonella, Escherichia coli, Vibrio parahemolyticus, Staphylococcus aureus, Listeria monocytogens, Clostridium perforatus, Campylobacter jejuni, Yersinia enterocolitica, and etc. The formic acid direct smear method. Requires the following test materials to be checked: one, check whether the target plate is clean. Observe the target plate and light, and check for no obvious stains. Dirty stains will affect the identification result. If it is not clean, clean it again according to the target plate cleaning process. Two, check whether the bacterial colonies are fresh. Fresh bacteria colonies require bacterial culture for 24 hours, an aerobic bacteria culture for 72 hours, yeast-like fungi culture for 48 hours, and filamentous fungi culture for 72 hours to see single clones. Three. Check whether the bacteria colonies are pure. That is, there is a single bacterial colony in the third zone on the egg plate. Four. Check whether the reagents are sufficient. Here are the operational steps for the formic acid direct application method. One. Pick a single colony using a pipette tip. tip. Two. Spread it evenly onto the sample target point to form a thin layer of bacteria on the target point, avoiding too much or too little spreading. When too much is applied. Crystal formation will not appear as particles, but rather as a block in the mass spectrometry video area. Spread the quality control strain uniformly onto target points A2, 3. Take one microliter of pretreatment solution and cover the dried sample target point. The main component of the pretreatment reagent is 70% formic acid. Which helps release intracellular proteins. In this step, drop the calibration solution, which has been restored to room temperature, onto target point A1. Four. After adding one microliter of formic acid, the target plate needs to be dried. There are three common ways to dry it: A. Natural air drying for approximately five minutes. B. Metal bath at 40 Celsius degree for approximately two minutes. C. Use a dry target box for approximately 30 seconds. Five. After drying, take one microliter of matrix solution. Six. Cover the dried sample target point. The effective component of the matrix solution reagent kit is CHCA. Which can absorb excess laser energy and to protect the integrity of the protein. Seven. After drying, perform machine identification. For difficult to break strains, such as yeast-like fungi and filamentous fungi, extraction can be used for pretreatment. Microbial sample pretreatment kit can fully release intracellular proteins. And lysis buffer one works by thoroughly destroying the cell wall, while lysis buffer two can effectively extract proteins. Matrix solution storage temperature, room temperature, shelf life 12 months, expiration period after opening seven days. 
Here are the steps for the extraction method. 1. Add 200 microliters of ultra pure water to 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube. 2. Pick 1 to 5 milligrams of fresh bacterial cells and suspend them in the tube. If the cells are in clumps, fully disperse them to avoid picking up culture media. 3. Add 900 microliters of anhydrous ethanol to the centrifuge tube and mix well. The ethanol concentration becomes 75% at this point, which acts as a sterilization agent. 4. Centrifuge the tube at 12,000 RPM for 2 to 3 minutes and discard the supernatant after centrifugation. Use a pipette to fully aspirate the residual supernatant and let the pellet dry at room temperature for 5 minutes to allow the ethanol to fully evaporate. 6. Add 20 microliters of microbial sample lysis solution 1 to the centrifuge tube and mix well using a pipette. If the sample is a gram-positive bacteria or fungi, let it sit at room temperature for 15 minutes to fully destroy the cell wall. 7. Add 20 microliters of microbial sample lysis solution 2 to the centrifuge tube and mix well using a pipette. 8. After centrifuging at 12,000 RPM for 2 minutes, obtain the final extraction product. The supernatant after centrifugation should be clear. 9. Aspirate 1 microliter of the supernatant and add it to the sample target point. Be careful not to aspirate the bacterial cell pellet. At this step, add the calibration solution that has been restored to room temperature to the A1 target point. Place the quality control strain on the A2 target point. Dry and add 1 microliter of 70% formic acid for cell lysis. 10. After drying, cover 1 microliter of matrix solution on target points A1 to A4. 11. Finally, wait for the sample to dry and to proceed with the machine identification. Note that within 30 minutes, the matrix solution must be applied. If heated at a 40 Celsius degree, it must be taken away immediately after drying, and machine identification must be completed within two hours to avoid protein degradation. Part 2. Preparation of calibration quality control before machine identification. 1. Use a pipette to take 30 microliters of mass spectrometry reconstitution solution and add it to the mass spectrometry calibration solution for calibration. Let it stand at room temperature for 2 minutes. 2. If the calibration solution has been reconstituted, store it in a minus 20 Celsius degree or 4 Celsius degree refrigerator. When using it, Take it out from the refrigerator, recover it at room temperature for 10 minutes, and centrifuge it for immediate use. 3. After reconstitution, aspirate 1 microliter of the reconstituted solution and place it on the A1 target point. 4. Place ATCC25922 monoclonal as a quality control point on the A2 target point. Quality control strands can choose standard strands of bacteria, such as Asherichia coli, Staphylococcus aureus, Candida orbicans, etc. 5. Place the clinical samples to be identified on the A3 and A4 target point. 6. After drying, cover 1 microliter of matrix solution on target points A1 to A4. Seven, wait for the samples to dry and to proceed with the machine identification. Part three, bacterial strain machine identification process. One, open the software and enter the operation interface. Two, click the enter, exit, target button and the instrument will exit the cabin. After the cabin is exited, 
open the door and take out the target holder. Three, place the target plate on the target holder and fix it with two positioning pins. The target plate and the target holder need to be aligned around the edges. Four, place the fixed target plate and holder flat in the sample compartment. Close the cabin door and then click Enter Exit Target. Five. Wait for the instrument to enter the cabin and to wait for the progress bar to reach 100%. Six. Perform calibration and select the A1 target point of the calibration sample. Seven. Click the manual acquisition button and to perform calibration after acquiring a qualification spectrum. The qualified standard for the spectrum is the presence of nine characteristic peaks at 3,637.80 Thompson, 4,365.30 Thompson, 5,076.80 Thompson, 5,381.40 Thompson. 6,255.40 Thompson, 7,274.50 Thompson, 10,300.10 Thompson, 13,683.20 Thompson, and 16,592.30 Thompson. Among them, the intensities of the five characteristic peaks at 4,365.30 Thompson, 5,076.80 Thompson, 5,381.40 Thompson, 6,255.40 Thompson, and 7,274.50 Thompson are above 3,000. And the intensities of the three characteristic peaks at 10,300.10 Thompson, 13,683.20 Thompson, and 16,592.30 Thompson are above 1,000, as shown in the calibration spectrum chart. 8. Click the calibration function card interface. Select Calibration Sample in the Peak List. 9. Click Auto Find Peaks again if 7 or more characteristic peaks are found. Click Calculate. After calculation, the error is less than 300 ppm. Any 7 of the 9 characteristic peaks mentioned above can be used. 10. Click Save Calibration Parameters to complete the calibration operation. 11. Click the Enter button. Select the A2, A3, A4 target points that have samples and added the corresponding specimen number information. A2 target point is ATCC25922 quality control target point. A3, A4 target points are specimens to be identified. 12. After editing, click OK and then click Auto Acquisition to identify the quality control strengths first. If the identification score of ATCC 25922 is greater or equal to 2.0 and the bacterial species name is Asherichia coli, the quality control has passed. If the quality control fails, the reason should be identified, such as using an ATCC 25922 strain that is not a fresh colony on blood agar or applying too much or too little bacteria on the quality control spot. 13. After passing the quality control, proceed to automatically identify the clinical sample spots. 14. Check the identification results in the results list. Part 4. Target plate deep cleaning process. 1. Spray an appropriate amount of anhydrous ethanol on a dust-free cloth. 2. Wipe each target point on the target board in a clockwise circular motion. 3. Fold clean dust-free cloth in half and lay it flat on the bottom of the target board cleaning box. 4. Place the target board face down on the dust-free cloth. 5. 
Add a hydrous ethanol to cover the target board. 6. Place the cleaning box in an ultrasonic cleaning machine. Add a suitable amount of pure water to make the cleaning box float. 7. Start the ultrasonic cleaning machine. 8. Clean the instrument for 3 minutes. Wait for 3 minutes to cool down and repeat the operation 2 to 3 times. 9. After cleaning is completed, remove the cleaning box. 10. Remove the target board and rinse it with pure water. 11. Dry the target board with a clean dust free cloth. 12. Finally, place the target board in the target board box for storage and field to use.